everyone. So today we're going to be talking about how to create fillable PDFs in InDesign. It's actually fairly simple, although like all Adobe products, you can get super crazy with it if you need to. But if you're just trying to create a very simple form and you just want to export it as an interactive PDF, it's not that hard. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. First thing, you're going to start with a tool that you wouldn't expect to. You're going to start with a rectangle tool. You're going to draw the form, form field that you're going to use. And you can do things here just like you would any other time. You can, you know, create an outline for it. You can change the background color. Let's grab our paper over here. This is going to be super brief. I'm not going to get into like styling and making them look good in this video. All you do is you need a template to start with. So we're going to grade that. I'm going to hold down my Alt key and my Shift key. Alt makes the duplicate. Shift keeps it in line. I'm going to select the other one so I can just grab them both at the same time and bring it down. All right, so now I've just created four text fields, right? So super easy. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this out because I'm not going to need this anymore. So I'm using the buttons and forms part of the creating interactive PDFs, right? So to get to this, you're going to go to Window. You're going to go down to Interactive. And then you go down to Buttons and Forms. And that will bring up this panel right here. You're going to select one. And then we're going to repeat the process for the other one. So I'll speed that part up. But you select the one you're going to work on. You go to type and you go down to choose text field. Again, you have your options just like any other form, but you're going to select text field for this example and then you're going to give it a name. More complex, like this is the part where Adobe can like give you too many options, option you to death. So basically what you want to do here is just select, you know, just typically just write the name of it, but we'll just call it, you know, field one for the purposes of this. It's so that you can reference it in other places throughout the document, right? If you want to like have them fill out their name once and have that name appear in multiple places, you would just keep them having the same name and copy and paste that field. And it would, if they put it in one spot, it would automatically populate other places. That's the interactive part. So what you want to do is on here on event, we're going to say on click. So when the user clicks on it, then they can start filling it out. And then you go down here and have it be multi-line because it's like a text area box. Like you see on like a website form, so in this particular case, we want them to be able to get to the end of the line and then go to the next line. All right. And then we're just going to repeat that for the next ones. All right. So now we're back. Now, because this is just a fillable PDF, like you're creating like a worksheet for your course or something like that, there's nothing else you need to do here, right? This is just a very simple, like, how do I make it so I can fill out stuff on my pretty PDF, right? So you're, you're done at this point for this, as far as this is concerned. So what you want to do is go up to File, go down to Export. When you're exporting, you got to make sure that it says Adobe PDF Interactive here. It should because you've added interactive elements. You're going to find a place for it to go. Um, we'll create a new folder and we'll just say, we're going to call it we're going to call it SEO Worksheet. Save it out and you'll get your normal export PDF screen. It's going to say interactive at the top. That's really the only difference. In this case, I only want to export the one page because this is just like a template I'm using. I only want this one page. As far as your settings, you want to use the same settings that you would use for any like web PDF. There's not something special you have to, not like other PDFs where you have to make sure that you have something special selected in order to get like a generated result. The interactivity will come through with whatever settings you have set up. Hit export. All right now you gotta go find it it's gonna pop it open and then we're gonna double click on our seo worksheet number 11 and there it is all right so let's test it out by the way don't forget to follow me on instagram wendy underscore literal two t's and also i have my seo blog post template that this style is from um, for seven dollars over at creationdepot.com forward slash seo all right so let's do the interactivity test follow me on instagram All right, so we can see that they all worked. And this is generally when you're doing worksheets with like courses and things like that, um, or just something that you're trying to give away as like a freebie. At this point, the user is just going to save it out or they're just going to print it and it will print with everything on it. So you're done at this point for the general overview of this is just how you do it. If you're trying to get into something fancy that like saves things out and, and interacts with the user and does those kinds of things, let me know in the comments below if you want something more interactive than this. If not, I would seriously appreciate a thanks Wendy in the comments below because 
just writing thanks Wendy makes YouTube so happy <laughs> and it promotes my videos and I really appreciate it. It's kind of like a virtual tip so I really appreciate it when when I get that kind of engagement. Likes, subscribes, all that stuff makes YouTube happy. Alright guys, that's it for me for now. Um, if you, again, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Alright guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully with a better voice. I've been sick this past week and I am very happy to be on the mend. Alright guys, take care. Thanks.